Brad War from Roco Rescue here today at the Roco Training Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where we're taking a look at the newest version of the Petzl ID. So this has always been a favorite of ours at Roco Rescue. We've used the Petzl ID for about the last 20 years as our primary descent control device from an anchored setup and as a, a repel device. So the newest version can be determined by taking a look at it. I'm seeing the red cap, which indicates that this is the large or the G-rated version. I've got the polymer uh, latch here, which is a return from the first version of this device and something that we're real happy that Petzl re-included on the newest version of this. So when I open this up, I'm going to take a look. I've got my anti-error lever with the teeth here in case I reeve this in backwards. The inner cam has changed from a round cam to a more squared off version and it's also now a spring-loaded version. So when I bring this handle around, that will release the cam into that free position. But when I release that handle, it's going to pinch it down in to pinch that position. And I've also got a now a cut V fixed brake on the internal uh, portion of the Petzl ID. So let's anchor it up and take a look at how we're going to use this. So I'm going to close this device up. I'm going to anchor it to my anchor and I'm going to now push that polymer tab and I'm going to open this device and swing that top plate out. I'm going to grab my rope. When I reeve this in, I'm going to bring the rope all the way with it standing on edge over the top lip, rotate it down until the rope makes a loop from the left side to the right side over that center bobbin and then I'm going to close that top plate up. I'm going to function test it by making sure that it pulls in this direction and I'm going to turn around and now I'm going to pull on this edge and I'm going to find that it locks up because it's set in the right way. So this device can be used in both fashions. I can anchor it or I can put it on myself and use it as a repel. So this device is actually intended to be run behind the device. So I'm going to slide under and I'm going to set myself up like this device was hanging off my harness. Now I can have my load tension that up, that load's tensioned. I bring that rope in a full circle over that rolled edge and now I'm going to bring that lever back and I'm going to pull that lever open until that rope begins to slide. If I pull that lever too far it releases that inner bobbin. That's that panic function that we're all familiar with that if I get going too fast, instead of allowing me to open that all the way up, it's going to release that cam and stop me. To re-engage, I just need to bring this lever forward till it re-engages that bobbin. I heard it click and I can feel that I have friction again. So now I can start my lower. If I feel like I need additional friction, I've got my external auxiliary brake here. I'm going to grab that push that rope through, now I can change my angle to get as much friction as I want. There I'm hitting that, uh, that panic function which is telling me this is probably too much friction for the load that I've got. I can also bring that rope over this fixed brake straight off the edge and now I can lower or repel in that function which reduces the twists or pigtails that I'm going to get in the rope. So that's a quick overview of the Petzl ID from an anchored descender position. Hey, thanks for joining us for these videos. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in the near future at a class. And remember, there's a safe way and there's a safer way. Thanks.